What's going on, Sanderd and Twain members? Hope you guys are enjoying this cigar, the Caldwell Long Live the King Mad Mofo. This is the third line from the Long Live the King series, and we have now featured all three lines. Of course, the original Long Live the King, and then the next one was the Caldwell Savages, and now the Mad Mofo. Um, to me, I mean, this is a, God, this is such a rich, dense cigar. So much smoke output. I personally am just getting so much, sounds nasty and you, some some of you may not like this if you're getting the same flavor to, to me it's a it's a real dirt flavor um, which I actually you know I like it sounds gross but I enjoy it dirt earth um, you know it's like leather it's that whole range um, some dark dark like 80% cacao and uh, but yeah mostly just like dirt earth black pepper leather all those flavors um, and just all of them and so much of all. Probably not gonna be for everybody. Um, if you like something a little less in your face with the flavors, something a little milder on the, the flavor spectrum, this probably isn't gonna be for you, I apologize. But I like this cigar a lot. It comes from a Tobacco Letter Ventura in the Dominican Republic. And uh, yeah, we've now covered our bases when it comes to Long Live the King. This cigar has five countries represented in the blends, including a Pennsylvania broadleaf, uh, which that and the San Andreas Mexican wrapper likely accounts for a lot of that flavor we're talking about, right? You probably noticed at the top of the cigar reveal page, we have a new feature, which we're really excited to, uh, to provide on each cigar reveal page for each cigar that we smoke uh, and that is a questionnaire on how you enjoyed it and you know we're always trying to improve your cigar smoking experience and this is one thing we've wanted to do for a long time which is to um, have a way both for us to keep up with all of our standard and twain members to keep up with which cigars performed best and also for the actual brands they value what we do, what we bring to the table, no one else is doing it. Um, and to be able to give them results on their cigars and how they perform in the blind tasting. So we're super excited for that. Be sure to go on there in your uh, cigar rating, uh, numbers 60 to 100 on the Cigar Aficionado scale. We're just gonna do it that way. It's easiest, everybody knows it. Um, fill that in and uh, yeah, hope you, we'll talk about more about that later. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the cigar, and we'll talk soon. Cheers.